all fine. <laughs> Hi guys. Um, okay, I'm not very fine today. A little bit of headache. I don't know why. It's somehow hot today. Not very much, but it's a bit hot. Yeah, a little headache, but I'm fine. Guys, I hope you're doing well. Uh, otherwise, uh, welcome back to the channel. I'm headed now. I'm headed to the well. Remember the well I cleaned, which was our turn last time to clean. And they went and cleaned. Exactly, that's where I'm going. A lot of you have been asking me in the comment section how the water turned out, if it's clean or not. Yeah. So today I'm taking you to the well. I want to show you that the water turns out really clean, like I told you. If you didn't watch that video when we were cleaning it, check out I think the previous two or three videos around there. You'll get a video where we're cleaning that well. So let's head over there and check out if the water is clean or not. In case you don't know this route, this is actually a shortcut. <laughs> That's why I'm using it. So guys, I think you notice a lot of bush around this area. The fact that it's near water source. Yeah, the people, this homestead generally do a lot of uh, bricks laying as a business just. Eh? Yeah. Because they are near the source of water. Come to buy, like those are customers will come to buy the bricks. I think you notice this is actually a shorter route, like I told you. The borehole is already here, and of course, the well where we're headed to just here, not very far. Let's continue this side. Guys, I'm going to remember this lady with the lady with clean with to get Here we are, guys. We have arrived. So, so you can see the water. It's not the dirty one we left last time, if you have noticed. So now you know why I brought to get this jug. Eh? Because what we always use for getting water here is broken. You notice? <laughs> so I remembered along the way. That's why I had to just branch at the neighbors. I couldn't go back again home. getting this water you be very keen like very gentle I could say because when you scoop and just push it around like that you're going to mess everything so when you're scooping you, you scoop it like carefully but it doesn't get that
you guys also have wells in your villages? Hmm? Let me know in the comment section. Do you have underground water like this? And the beauty here that you don't have to wait, like there's no lining up, you just come and get and go. So it saves a lot of time. So that doesn't fall on me <laughs> when I'm carrying it on my head. So like this, it's easier than lifting it in the hand because this I'll just walk straight home and I'll not have to be stopping along the way but when I lift on my hand, I'll have to be stopping along the way to rest and that will waste me more time. So guys, this is just our other alternative of water apart from the borehole. Yeah, and it's really safe for drinking. All you have to do is just to come and clean like you saw us cleaning last time. And it's done in turns. So there's nothing like we pay money here. It's cost free. It's, you know, like these are the things that make life in my village really cheap. Let me know what's in your village that makes your life really cheap. Like you don't have to spend to get. I'm pretty sure guys in the city spend a lot of money to get just even a bottle of water or even just a cup of water. But for us we get everything for free and that makes really life, I don't know. Like it really defines that God never forgets his people. You, get, you, you understand what I'm trying to say? God has not forgotten us. He gave us everything in abundance, I can tell you. Like you notice the garden, the, like land is fertile, crops just grow naturally there and I mean, we just survive like that and life moves on, you understand what I'm trying to say? Ah, I don't even know how to say but sometimes I really get down on my knees and I'm like, okay God, thank you for putting me in this video because if not here, would I really fit anywhere else? Hmm? It, would, it would have been so tough. I don't think I would have afforded somewhere out there, yeah? So uh, that is just how we live here. Yeah, and I'm headed back home. I've not paid a cent here to get this water. You noticed, so I'm headed back home without any payment. And I just got myself a 20 liter drink of water, just like that. And definitely I'm coming back because I have, we have a small drum at home. It takes like five jury cans, so I'm going to fill the drum right now. I'll come back and get one till I feel, I mean, cost free. Hmm? You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> Guys, thanks for watching. <laughs>